And when we look at the awards that the Medal of Honor Society presents, it's important to think they're just not awards that we give because we want to give awards, but they're awards that we give because in our arts as recipients, we think it's important to recognize those men and those women that are examples for Americans, examples for our veterans, examples for our first responders that say, hey, this is what makes us strong. Bob Hope set the standard for bringing the world of entertainment to our men and women. Boy, throughout the United States and overseas. His legacy lives on every day through the entertainers who volunteer with the USO to bring a slice of home and to respite to our service members in the field. Now we could debate all evening about which of our Bob Award recipients movies, TV shows we like the best, but there is no debate that the first and foremost, that actor and comedian, Rob Rickles, is a Marine. <laughs> I'm a Marine guy. I'm a Marine guy saying that. Say so Rob joined the Marine Corps in 1990, at the age of 19, rose to the ranks and served in various countries, including Libya, Albania, Kosovo, and Afghanistan. He retired as Lieutenant Colonel after 23 years of total dedicated service. Nine years on active duty and 14 years in reserves earning more than 22 medals and ribbons. And I'd like to say at this point, I had a reporter ask me, and I'll get off the script because it's important to me. She said, how come medals are important to the military? And I said, think about this for a minute. There's a widow whose husband died in Afghanistan. And all she has is his memory and his purple heart. They're, mere, they're not merely medals to the fabric of this country, to the fabric of the family, to the fabric of the sacrifice and the dedication of the men and women. And so to me, the medals that men and women earn in serving our great nation are so important because they show the sacrifice, they show the dedication, they show what America's made of. Now Rob has participated in several USO shows where he entertained troops in Afghanistan, Italy, Spain, Turkey, the United Kingdom, Germany, Iraq, and Kuwait. Rob has had the longest successful career as an entertainer is currently hosting season three of ABC's hit show, Holy Moly. <laughs> Before we welcome you to the stage, we have a special message from Alan Reyes of the USO. Please roll the video. Hi, I'm Alan Reyes, Chief Operating Officer of the USO. I wanted to congratulate Rob Riggle on your well-deserved Patriot Award this evening. As a fellow reservist, I want to thank you for your service to America and for bringing a little bit of America to our service members overseas on your USO tours with us. Also, to General Milley, congratulations on your awards as well. We hope everyone there tonight in Boston has a great evening. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow veterans, Patriots, Americans, and of this country. I'm pleased to introduce Rob Regal, recipient of the 2021 Medal of Honor Society Bob Hope Excellence in Entertainment Award.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present this award. received a letter from the Medal of Honor Society notifying me that I was to receive an award tonight. Wrong. I thought, I thought to myself, the Medal of Honor. <laughs> My God, this can't be right. And then I remembered a very dark and stormy night while I was deployed when I saved a young Marine Lieutenant from leaving the bar with a very ugly woman. <laughs> I mean, she was ugly. But how, how, thank you. I knew you guys would catch on, all right. Let's do this. <clears throat> she was so ugly. <laughs> That on Halloween, when she answered the door, the kids would give her candy. She was so ugly that she would have to sneak up on her own mirror. She was so ugly, she made onions cry. She was so ugly that her proctologist stuck his finger in her mouth. She was so ugly that if she sits in sand, cats would bury her. She was so ugly that when she went to the zoo, they wouldn't let her leave. Okay, there we go. All right. You know what, though? I did. I saved that Marine's life that night. That Marine is Brent Hepner. Never forget that. Brent Hepner. He was supposed to be here tonight. He's a good friend of mine. He didn't make it, so we're going to make fun of him. <laughs> I didn't think they awarded the Medal of Honor for such acts, so I googled it, and it turns out I was right. This is the Bob Hope Award. That's why I'm here tonight. Which makes a lot of sense. I am honored to receive the Bob Hope Award. I consider Bob Hope a national treasure. He has supported our troops. He did support our troops, it's passed on, but he supported our troops no matter what the circumstances. No matter what the circumstances, no matter what the politics, it never mattered to him. It didn't matter if the war was popular or not. He wanted to serve our troops, and he did, no matter what. He reminded the troops of how much they were loved, how much they were missed back home. And he reminded them of what they were fighting for and how wonderful this country truly is. By the way of the internet, I went back and looked at some of Mr. Hope's performances on the, and was amazed at what I saw. For decades, he entertained the troops. Possibly millions of troops were entertained. He always ended his show the same way. He would bring out all the entertainers onto the stage, everybody from the show. They'd all wave goodbye. And he would say some version of... God bless you all, get home safe. And then he'd walk off. I've been very lucky to do a couple of USO shows myself around the world, and I can honestly say it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done in show business, having the honor of entertaining our troops. I never got a USO show, by the way. <laughs> so I always vowed if I ever did anything in show business, I was gonna go back and entertain the troops. And I followed through on that, thank goodness. Today, obviously, I don't have to tell you much about it. 20 years ago today, this nation suffered the worst terrorist attack we've ever faced. It was a tragic day. It was one of the worst days of my life. I was in New York City that day. I had just left active duty and joined the reserves. My reserve unit was in Manhattan. 
That night, the bridge and tunnels were closed and my unit was activated. I was a young captain at the time, and we were sent down to uh, Ground Zero. We were told to show up in our boots and utes at one police plaza, which we did. And they gave us a little surgical mask, kind of like we wear today. And we went to work on the rubble piles. At that time, it was still search and rescue. We thought there were hundreds, if not thousands of people trapped under the rubble. There were six stories of rubble, so they couldn't bring in heavy machinery. So we had to go up like ants on this hill and just work the bucket brigades, passing buckets up and down. 12 hours on, 12 hours off, 12 hours on, 12 hours off. And we did that until the 18th. Then after that, I moved to one police plaza and began to help with military civilian uh, coordination efforts. I was pretty upset, as most Americans were, so I volunteered to go back on active duty. I had a green badge, for all of you out there who know what that means, I was an unusually high security clearance. So I knew they were going to need people, uh, especially with that kind of clearance. So I volunteered to go back on active duty uh, on September 30th. On November 10th, I got my orders, Marine Corps birthday. Uh -oh. Uh, I received my orders on November 10th. On November 17th, I reported to Central Command, and on November 30th, I was in Afghanistan. It moves pretty quickly. Um, and that's why you have a reserve, in case you were wondering. Um, I did my time, I served over there. I, I just came back, I served in the Jock out of CENTCOM, and I went back again in the summer of 2002. And then, uh, and then when my time was up, I came back home to New York, and then a couple years later, uh, I was on Saturday Night Live. We live in a great country. We live in an amazing country. If you have a dream, it can happen here. And I'm living proof of that. Um, I would like to thank the Medal of Honor Society uh, for honoring me uh, and even considering me. Thank you very much. Uh, it's very rare that you get to be in a room with this many heroes, so I consider tonight also one of the best nights of my life. Um, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else on this day than right here in this room. So, as Bob Hope would say, God bless you all and get home safe.